Hello, I'm Dr. Lo Chai Ling and today I want to talk about what makes the face beautiful. And if you're looking for beauty treatments, what should you be aiming for? Should you just be aiming for something to look younger or should you be aiming for something that makes your face more beautiful? Well, that's all going to be covered in my talk. There is an old saying that beauty lies in the eye of the beholder. But who is the beholder? So physical attraction is very important for both genders. In a paper called Sexual Selection and Facial Neoteny by Doug Jones, he hypothesizes that we care about the attractiveness of a face or rather the indicators of youth because we are all going to live longer. So if you're going to be with somebody for the next 50 years, we want to make sure they are going to age well. That's the, where the concept of facial neoteny comes into place. Facial neoteny really means the retention of baby face features into maturation. So one theory proposed is that it is invariably linked to fertility and fecundity. Because men stay fertile for much longer, so this is not such an important trait for them. But as women lose fertility much earlier, then having a baby face or what we call a neutonic face is a valuable asset for them. We also find that people are judged to be more or less attractive because they have facial proportions that are associated with younger or older ages. A good example is Angelina Jolie. Now, she's much older than other beauty icons, but she's still considered very beautiful in Hollywood because she has this baby face feature. If you look at her face, she has a larger round forehead, she has high cheekbones, and these are all baby face features. And they contrast really well with her more mature features of a strong maxilla and jaw. So she's a perfect example of what I would call an intermediate juvenilized face. Another example is Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn is well into her 60s, but she's still considered more beautiful than most women her age or even younger because she has the same nutanic features of a large round forehead she has defined cheeks and of course her chin is not as strong as Angelina Jolie but still overall she has that baby face look so when a patient walks into our clinic instead of just chasing lines and thinking about doing things for their wrinkles and lines we really should be considering their facial proportions and thinking how can we bring it back to a more nutanic ideal I think this helps us define what beauty is and it helps shape us in terms of what sort of treatments we should be looking for. Thank you for watching. If you like this and other similar contents, don't forget to subscribe and like below.